I think I have a poltergeist following me. Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today brings a brand new video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about ghosts, aka a poltergeist, and why I think one may be following me slash attached to one of my items. I have been experiencing disappearing object phenomenon. And if you don't know what that means, it means basically when the common objects you use every day just seem to go missing into thin air, like they're here one second and gone the next. Now clearly with disappearing object phenomenon, it's not just, oh, ghost took my items. It could easily be you misplaced your items. You picked it up, moved it somewhere, and then you just forgot about it because it's not the common spot you put it, you know, having a simple blonde moment. So nothing pretty, you know, interesting with that. Or another one that could be happening is somebody in your family slash household has simply borrowed your items. And another one that they say is something that's temporarily invisible. So you know when your mom tells you, hey, can you go get my purse? It's on the couch. And you go to the couch and her purse isn't there. So you go back there and you're like, mom, your purse ain't on the couch. And then she's like, if I go to the couch and my purse is right there, I'm gonna beat you up. And then you look again and her purse ain't there. But as soon as she goes to the couch, her purse is there. Yeah, so temporarily invisible is another thing that people have said is common where you don't actually see it out there when it's there. There's another one called dimensional shift where basically we're moving into the space-time continuum and you're looking everywhere for say your chapstick and all of a sudden you hear it fall in the kitchen and you go to the kitchen and there, boom, it's on the ground. That's kind of like a dimensional shift. I don't really know how to explain that one, so please just Google that one. I'm sorry. And the final one, the poltergeist one, where a ghost is attached to your object and moving it around the house or your person. And that's why I think I have it, unless, unless my bag has a dimensional shift in it. I have no other explanations on anything. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I know that has happened to me, and I want your guys' opinions down below. So it's June 2020. I have been carrying this bag around with me, not everywhere I go, but a couple of places. Whenever I carry this bag, for some reason, I have not came home with everything that I had in this bag. So a couple of things that have gone missing were some masks, which are simple, easy to replace. I'm not mad about those. My AirPods, the thing that I'm most maddest about, because I don't have a job right now, I'm not on unemployment, I'm just... Now, I don't have any income coming in basically. And my AirPods are gone, vanished, poof, disappeared, nowhere to be found. And some other things that I can't really mention on YouTube because you know the whole YouTube terms and stuff. I don't want to get my video shadow banned, so just know things that don't belong on YouTube in the bag. So my story is kind of special. I only have items disappear when I take my bag into somebody else's car. And I know you're thinking, well, you probably just had it fell out in their car. You probably left it at the place. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you guys a story about the time I lost my AirPods and the time I lost my uh, mask. The AirPods story is what started it. The mask story is what's funny about it. I was packing up my bag because I needed my portable charger. And I always keep my portable charger in my bag. And so that was simple. I put the charger in the bag, simple as that. And then I saw my AirPods last second and I was like, I'm gonna take my AirPods because whenever I go to my friend's apartment, they always leave me in the living room by myself and I'm always just sitting there like bored, like nothing to do. So I grab my AirPods and I throw them in my bag quickly and then I run out the door. You know, I go to my friend's apartment. This was the first day that they did not leave me alone in the living room, which I didn't find funny. I just thought that it was like, hey, they're being nice because I was always complaining like, you guys always leave me in here by myself, like blah, blah. So they didn't leave me in there. So I didn't have to go into my bag to get my AirPods. So I just ended up putting my phone on the charger and leaving it like that. And then as my friend is finishing getting ready, I'm in the living room talking to my other friends and we're just talking, you know, nothing too important. He gets done getting ready. So we all head out downstairs and we don't take my car. Usually we go in my car or usually I'm the one who drives because I don't like how other people are driving. But yeah, this was the first time. I never been in the car with her, so I didn't know what to expect. So I wasn't really pushed away from it yet. I didn't want to say, oh no, I'm not gonna go with you. 
I because I never seen her how she drove. I brought my bag with me because my phone was still charging. I didn't want to just take my portable charger and then have my uh, iPhone cable with me either. So I have my bag still. And we pull up to this luau kickback. So we're sitting outside waiting for the host of the party to get there because um, he's throwing it at his friend's house because he lives in an apartment or something. I don't remember. So once he pulls up, I put my bag underneath her seat because I was sitting in the back. So I just put it underneath the uh, front passenger. And we go inside. We literally stayed there for about 10 minutes because the vibe was kind of dead and off. So we left. We went back to his apartment, my friend's apartment, and we just kind of chilled. Uh, we didn't do anything. We tried to play some games. We did 21 questions and things like that. And the night was over, and I was going back home. A couple of days later, I was talking to my cousin, and I was like, whoa. Da -da 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 -da. And I mentioned my AirPods, and I was like, boy, I haven't seen my AirPods in a couple of days. And I was like, oh, I know where they're at. They're in my bag. But as soon as I got to my bag and I looked through my bag, my AirPods were not in there, nowhere to be found. So I was just like, oh, they must have fell out of my car. I'll, I'll go check my car. So I went to go check my car and they weren't in there either. So then I went to go check the pants that I was wearing and my AirPods weren't in there either. And then I was like panicking. So I started like looking through literally everything. Like I tore the whole house up looking for my AirPods. I literally cannot find them nowhere. So that is the story with my AirPods. Have I found them yet? No. So now let me talk to you guys about the second thing that happened, which was a mask going missing. And it was actually a mask that I actually started liking more because I liked how it fit my face because it was just better. So basically, um, my friend hit me up for my birthday and we were going to go to dinner. She was like, let's go to dinner for your birthday. She invited me and we ended up going to Red Lobster. I had my bag again. I had my camera because I wanted to take my camera because we always usually do something afterwards. So I thought, oh, maybe I could film it for a video, which didn't happen. So she came to pick me up. I had all my camera stuff in my bag. I was about to forget my mask. So I had to run back in and grab my mask. So I ran back in and grabbed my mask. And then I got in her car and we went to go eat. I, we get to the Red Lobster. I have my mask on, you know, because you have to have your mask on to go into the restaurant and then to leave the restaurant. So I had my mask all the way until we left the restaurant. I had it in the car and she brings me back home. So I get home and I'm planning on going out again. I'm planning to just leave the house again right away. I'm getting in the house and then I'm checking my bag for my mask. I'm like, okay, my mask isn't in here. I check my pockets for my mask. I was like, oh, my mask isn't in here either. So then I text the girl and I was like, hey, is my mask in your car? Did I leave my mask in your car? And she says, no, your mask isn't in here. And granted, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like she didn't look, I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I feel like she did not look at all. Like, I don't know why I feel like she didn't look, but I just feel like her personally, she's kind of lazy. Like, I feel like she was already at her place and got in the house and saw my message and then didn't look. But it's been a couple of weeks since then and she always drives people around so i feel like somebody by now would have seen you know would have seen the mask so that one to me was really funny and now let me go back so i told you guys i was finna leave the house again to go hang out with another friend because i didn't want to stay in the house that day so as i'm backing out leaving the house right i actually get out of the car to see if i drop the mask you know outside in the rocks or in the driveway or anything so i'm looking around checking all the bushes there's no mask and i specifically remember getting in the car and taking my mask off and i remember getting in the car and putting my mask in my bag or at least like on top of it or something and now the mask is just gone vanished and those two simple stories are the reasons why i think like i might have a poultry guys following me i've had a total of three items go missing i've been in the car i've been in my friend's cars for a total of three times and the third thing was something that I grabbed last second too. So the things that have gone missing from my bag were things that I have grabbed last second every single time. Every single time something I thought about before I left, right before I left, it has went vanished. So I was reading some stories on Google. Well, I don't know which website. It could have been Reddit. It could have been, I don't know. Just saw, I, saw, I Googled disappearing objects and this woman said that her computer charger went missing and her daughter's favorite shoes went missing and she ended up saying she demands for her objects back so i kind of want to try that but i also want to know what you guys think down in the comments below do you think my bag has a dimensional shift in it and 
somebody from a different dimension, like say me in a different dimension, has my bag? Or do you guys think my bag is possessed? Because I think my bag is possessed. I'm sorry, I know the bag is sitting right here, but I really feel like I need to go grab another bag. Like I need to buy another bag because this bag seems to be a bad luck. Hey guys, sorry I'm busted and sorry for the interruption of the video, but the video is over now. I told myself I'm gonna start keeping my videos shorter for the YouTube watch time for the algorithm so more people are watching my videos so it can start getting recommended. And then I'm gonna start making longer videos. So this video is already at 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna end it off here. If you guys wanna see the part two where I actually demand for all my stuff back, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Breezy. Peace out, everybody.